Hello everyone, this is Matt and welcome to the second part of my DVP 34 playthrough with Private Stone. Okay, we already have a new weapon over there. I'm gonna talk about it later. Anyway, this is map to the Oracles. And here you can see what I mean, what I meant by the whole black armor add-on. It changes out the green and blue armor for something a little bit more muted. But you know, still looks pretty good. Oh yeah, the missile launcher. Can't forget that thing. Okay. The SMGs feel great to use, just as I remember them. Oh, skid shooting, huh? Okay, we have a couple of ways of getting over there. But I do really like the way this map looks. It has this pretty obvious, obvious void map thing going on. As do most of the maps in the set. But something about this view just kind of gets to me, you know? Yeah, it's not hard or anything. Just a whole lot of fun, really. And we do have a secret right here. It's not a reserve secret. I don't really need it, but well, it's right it's there, so I might as well take it, you know. And we do have another secret in here. It's through this pitch black arc here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to actually see where you're going here. Anyway. Let's get back on the platform here. Yeah. You gotta remember that. Uh, yeah, I gotta remember to not account for the arc because unlike GD Echidna, this mod. Uh, just reach the grenade launcher like a mini what's the term? yeah so that's a nuclear barrel what I was trying to say before I kind of got a little sidetracked is that it's a nuclear barrel and nuclear barrels they give you a new weapon I'm gonna show it up when I get the chance to not right now also you gotta remember that as stone you regenerate help by punching monsters it just gives you a lot of incentive to get a look in your face and you know beat the crap out of them I think we might have another nuclear barrel just around the corner you'll see though there's now also another kind of barrel that is added I kind of hope we run into it here because it's pretty funny and quite fitting for her character. Okay, we got ourselves the 40 watts. What is it called again? 40 watt face plasma rifle. Very clear uh, and obvious reference to, you know, Terminator. Okay, we have another nuclear barrel. Yeah, those things are dangerous. Don't mess with them and if you do find yourself near one yeah i'll make a little quick save here it's not gonna break anything one part thing is if you hit use on that particular kind of barrel you get where is it yeah you get this big boy this is a single shot nuclear missile launcher so yeah reserve it for Situations where you feel like taking damage is just gonna happen. Are you just really one? A really big boom, really. Oh, I forgot about you. Yeah, this is easily the part I 
like the least on the amount this map but it's also pretty creative so seeing it i'm like it feels a little bit cheap it's more i know what it's trying to do but platforming in and doom is always a little bit of a little bit of a challenge yeah ignore the fact that i see this oh she threw straight up a gravestone Okay, so the idea here is you have the central pillar here, right? And you gotta do that to progress the map with the map. You gotta hop into this one, which is a trickier one, in my opinion. There we go. And that's all for some art while right up there. I do have this. Yeah, I don't really want to use up my charge here. Oh, that wasn't very nice of Mr. Revenant. There is also a third secret, but I don't really know where it is. And I never really care to look for it, so yeah. And if you time it right, you can also lead through the same way. But really, I don't really feel like doing that right now. Yeah, the door's already open. Might as well go for it. Anyway, like usual, this has been Matt. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video in which I'm going to be playing through Summit of Mount Death. So, see you there.